The strike force is called Osprey, a bird of prey, and this morning it swooped. Its target, what will be alleged, is a group including Guns for Hire. Allegedly, in that group, this man in white, its leader, this man in blue, Afghani national Abu Zar Sultani. One guy had just like red on his side, looked bloody. The pair was ambushed outside the Ibis Hotel at Sydney Olympic Park in front of astonished locals as police cleared the area. The street was taped off with police tape, just at the bottom and the top of Showground Road. It was very calm. It was certainly a lot of activity keeping people away, but they seemed very in control of what was going on. The wound to Sultani's right forehead and cheek suggests the arrests were not gentle. Understandable given what the group is being questioned over. High-profile gangland killings, the latest being the slaying of crime boss Pasquale Barbaro at Marrickville. Up to six people were arrested at Olympic Park and Five Dock, as well as other suburbs. A white Holden was also seized at Olympic Park. It's believed the men were inside it when police grabbed them. It's been taken for forensic examination, detectives collecting several bags of evidence. They're also checking other vehicles in the building's underground car park. Straight in, straight in. As of late today, police have confiscated at least three cars from this property. And 7 News understands that members of this group will be charged with conspiring to murder Pasquale Barbaro. And on top of that, they will take the opportunity to ask questions unrelated to this investigation. As well as the killing of Mafia boss Barbaro, the men will be questioned over other underworld deaths, including the murder of rebel sergeant-at-arms Mark Easter in June last year. And Robert Ovani joins us live from Olympic Park this evening. Rob, this is all part of a very complex investigation. Mark, you're right. It is a very complex investigation indeed. Uh, Sultani and Barbaro police will allege had disliked each other intensely for quite some time. And in an extraordinary coincidence, Sultani had once brokered a union deal specifically with the CFMEU on behalf of construction industry heavyweight George Alex. So the two do know each other and it was in front of Alex's home that Barbaro was gunned down last week. Having said that, despite the fact we've learnt that police have confiscated uh, uh, Alex's phone since then, he is absolutely not under suspicion, we're told by police. Mark? Robert Ovati at Olympic Park, thank you.